Hi everyone! I'm Hani Paula Habate, student nurse for today. So, ano nga po ba yung gagawin natin ngayon? Ang gagawin po po ngayon ay ang suctioning for the newborn baby. So, ano nga po ba yung suctioning? Routine suctioning at birth has been the standard of care for newborns for decades but recent evidence calls this practice into questions and many hospitals are moving away from it. But this doesn't mean that suctioning is obsolete. Newborns in respiratory distress, those with low APGAR scores, and those struggling with the transition from fetus to newborn may still need bulb suctioning or occasionally suctioning with a machine. So the World Health Organization or WHO now advises against routine bulb suctioning of neonates in the minutes following birth. If the baby is born through clearly amniotic fluid, and begins breathing on their own shortly after birth. Do not suction. However, if the baby struggles with signs of respiratory distress, do not delay suctioning. Aspirated meconium can be fatal to newborns and the faster you are able to suction them, the greater their likelihood of survival. So, paano nga po ba sinaksaksyon yung infant? So, first po, ang gagamitin po natin ay ang bulb syringe. So, first, wash po muna natin ang ating hands. So, nakapag-wash na po ako ng aking hands. And then, susuot ko na po yung aking sterile gloves. So, naisuot ko na po ang aking gloves. Next naman po ay ang pag-squeeze po sa bulb. Squeeze po muna natin. Ayan. And then, place the tip in the mouth. And then, next naman po sa my nose. natin, wag po itong tatagal ng 10 seconds or less po. And then, remove the syringe from the nose or mouth and squeeze it into tissue to get the mucus out. And then, wash, wash na Next naman po ay ang how to suction using suctioning tube po. So, nairady ko na po yung um, portable suction machine and then clean suction catheter for infants po. And fret size po, French gauge 5 to 7 po. So, nailagay ko na po ang aking gloves. And then, next naman po, connect the tubing to the suction catheter. Pick up the long connecting tubing that comes from the suction machine and attach it to the suction catheter. And turn on the suction machine. Then, place the catheter into the baby's mouth first. Mouth po muna. And then, next naman po tayo sa my nose. To remove the secretion, please remember that the inner cannula must always be in a place when a baby is suctioned. Cover the suction port with your thumb. 
slowly pull the suction catheter up in and out. Do not leave the suction catheter in the mouth or nose more than 10 seconds to prevent stimulation of the vagus nerve causing bradycardia po. And then, off na po natin. So, lastly po, rinse the suction tubing and shut off the unit po. And then, na-off na, -off na po siya. And remove all gloves. And wash hands. And then, wash po natin yung suction catheter.